Let's pray. For of you, O oh God, and less of me, through Christ I come. Amen. Welcome back. It's the last in our series. Don't miss this Christmas. Today is Sunday after Christmas. If you have your Bibles, and you can open them to Matthew 2, that's where we're going to camp for the next little while. Well, you made it through. I hope you didn't miss Christmas. Even though there might have been disappointment. Even though there might have been busyness. Were you still able to find Jesus this past Christmas? Are you able to come this morning and offer your time, your talent, and your treasure because of the gift that God gave us? Not because we have to. Not because we have to be here or we're compelled to be here. But because we want to be here. And we want Jesus. But what if we don't? What if we don't want Him? What if we hear the songs and the stories? What if we see the gifts and feel the presence and realize, wait a minute, wait a minute. If this Jesus is who the shepherds say He is, if this Jesus is who the wise men say He is, if this Jesus is who the angels say He is, then He's King of our world. But what if we like being King of our world? If He is King of our world, then we are His subjects and we are out of a job. Now, that's why today I have brought you a few little visual aids that will help us today. I haven't asked you to do anything really silly for such a long time. And the people at Burger King were, were kind enough to give me a mere 200 of these. So if everybody could take one, and pass it on. Uh, we'll send them around. I've already distributed some to the balcony. And uh, it's not a complicated endeavor to put a crown on your head. But there should be one for everybody. You see, sometimes we start to feel like we're king. But when we start to embrace that stuff that was said about him before he got here even, suddenly something needs to be dealt with. I believe we are all hardwired to be kings and queens of our own castles. Now, I want you to know I've never done this before. I've never asked an entire congregation. I'm sure there are some of you who will not be comfortable putting a little Burger King crown on your head. I know my own sizing, it, it just barely fits on my head. But, uh, do feel free to take one. They will be used later in the service. Oh, this is lovely. This is lovely. Just keep them back around. Uh, Brother Eric, was there enough of them up there, do you think? Looks like there might be more than 20. They're coming. Okay. If, they, if they get to the back, Brother Jacob is back there. It's real easy. You can, you can do it just like in, in the air, airplane when the oxygen mask comes down the person beside you cannot get there so I'll put yours on first. <laughs> and then you'll be able to put the crown on the person beside you. Yeah. So... I'm sorry about the delay. You've got a roast in the oven. <laughs> might be a little crispy when we get all these crowns around, but there. Points go up, by the way. 